breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Troops bust hip hop gangs behind total violence in Anambra. Uncover decomposing bodies of kidnapped victims. Troops bust hip hop gangs behind electoral violence in Anambra. Uncovered decomposing bodies of kidnapped victims. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. The Nigerian Army on Thursday said troops of 82 Division have dislodged camps of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra at Azia, Osumogu, Lilo Forest, Imbosi, and Huli in Hiala and also local government areas of Anambra and Imo State respectively. The troops then proceeded to clear Lilo Forest where they were met with resistance from the outlawed group the criminals were again overrun by the troops who effectively cleared Lilu Forest and the adjoining areas earlier occupied by the dissident. The statement partly read. According to him, the troops also uncovered the composing remains of kidnapped and murdered victims dumped in a deep well by members of the irredentist groups while clearing for ambush sites along roads of sumogo in bosi ihiala huli the troops also dislodged the miscreants from their criminal harvest The gallant troops neutralized one of the criminals, arrested the suspect, and recovered one pump action shotgun, two life cartridges, two mobile phones, one black colored Toyota Elux vehicle, a polythene bag containing substance suspected to be cannabis, and the sum of 1,920 naira. In a separate operation conducted today, 24 February 2022, troops of 82 Division Nigerian Army, in collaboration with the Nigerian police, have busted an hip-hop ESN syndicate that disrupted the just concluded local government council elections at some polling stations in Unkanu West of Enugu State. The Army spokesman stated that troops uncovered seven AK-47 rifles, two pump actions, ten rifle magazines, eight live cartridges, 74 live rounds of 7.62mm special ammunition, one hand grenade, a tipper truck containing 30 corpses, among other items around Centenary Estate, Obeago Uno. The items he had had have been handed over to Enugu State Police Command for further action. The Army also reassured residents of the Southeast of its commitment to restoring last peace in the region. The Nigerian Army on Thursday said troops of 82 Division have dislodged camps of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hat Asia, Osumogo Lilo Forest, Mbosi, and Uli in Hiala and also local government areas of Anambra and Imo State, respectively. 
The troops then proceeded to clear Lilu Forest, where they were met with resistance from the outlawed group. The criminals were again overrun by the troops who effectively cleared Lilu Forest and the adjoining areas earlier occupied by the dissident. The statement partly read. According to him, the troops also uncovered the composing remains of kidnapped and murdered victims dumped in a deep well by members of the irredentist groups. While clearing four ambush sites along roads, Osumogu Umbosi, Ihiala Uli, the troops also dislodged the miscreants from their criminal avant. The gallant troops neutralized. One of the criminal arrested, arrested the suspect, and recovered one pump action shotgun, two life cartridges, two mobile phones, one black colored Toyota Elux vehicle. A polythene bag containing substances suspected to be cannabis and some of 1,920 naira. In a separate operation conducted today, 24 February 2022, troops of 82 Division Nigerian Army, in collaboration with the Nigerian police, have busted an hype of ESN syndicate that disrupted the just-concluded local government council elections at some polling stations in Hokano West of Enugu State. The Army spokesman stated that troops uncovered seven AK-47 rifles, two pump-action rifles, ten rifle magazines, eight live cartridges, 74 live rounds of 7.62 mm special ammunition, one hand grenade, a tipper truck containing three corpses, among other items around stationary estate, Obi Agu Uno. The items, he added, have been handed over to a Nugu State Police Command for further action. The army also reassured residents of the southeast of its commitment to restoring lasting peace in the region. So, my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.